Greetings, friends. This is FNGR. If you're looking for How Not to Barney, there will be a link to Fan and Frenzy down below underneath Jorm's link in the description. I just started up a BitChute channel as well as my VidMe. I should be getting to Analysis Daily's count that closed last Friday. I'll need some time to get the artwork done for the winner. I have an idea of what I want to do, but that should take some time. Special thanks to Jorm, British Ninja, Dark Edge, Midnight Anubis, who all came on to talk about British politics and commentary affairs. Again, I should have a new How Not to Brony later this week or early next. God bless and see you all soon. Also, Zane, you can kiss my ass. I know something you don't know, and it's gonna hurt. See you later, kiddo. Mwah. If anybody would like to make a backup, that would be most appreciated. That means no. If I can tell. <laughs> Looking lovely. See what, I, uh, see what I can do. Yeah, no. Anybody, like I said, backup is beautiful. All right, I've got two. I've got Avar and OBS running, so I should probably be okay. All right, sounds good. Your artwork is not done yet, nor is even the sketch, by the way, Jerem. Yo. Hello. Fucker. Calls up. <laughs> 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 I'm all kinds of fucking, like, annoyed and disappointed. That was super bitchy fucking earlier. Trying to get people to fucking join the call in my main room so just start chucking fuckers out. Yep. So that's gonna set the fucking tone. Oh, fuck you too, Cameron, you cunt. Well, he said that he said good luck with the interview. He has stuff to do, so... Okay. Sorry, Anthony. Yeah, he did. Um... I'm trying to think of something stereotypical to say that won't be too... I want that magical amount of offense. Well, I doubt you can leave him in a more broken state than Brexit, so... Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, you can stereotype me. I don't give a shit. Well, you asked for that. Literally specific. I'd like to state for the record, everyone listening in, my regular guests, we are nice to the guests. Jorm's like, I don't want any of that bullshit. And that's why he's not getting any of that today. Makes We're going to do so that. much no, easier for everyone. I don't, I don't want any ass kissing from anybody. Oh, uh, don't um, worry. I, I have a, a crew here that's not going to do any of that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't ask for ass kissing. I simply ask to be treated like a person. Oh. That's really all I ask for. <laughs> I mean, if I, I wanted like, to be, if I knew for like three French people to have on and roast you, they'd have been beautiful. That'd be great. I'll be super roasted and everything. The, yeah. the only French person you know hates your guts. Oh, yeah, no, I hate his guts too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be raised, I'll be made rapid chewy by the end of it. Oh, fucking <laughs> great. All right, I guess I'll do the intro and we'll just have Ninja coming in in a minute. This is FNGR welcoming you to Limbo Podcast, joined by the following co hosts Midnight Anubis, aka the Mountie. E. Dark Edge, a.k.a. that faggot. Yo. Yo, indeed. British Ninja will be joining <laughs> us later. And this week's King of Limbo, I don't know if I'm misgendering you because you got like an anime waifu uh, for an avatar, Jom. Hello, how you, how you guys doing? Um, We're doing pretty good here. Um, Let's see. You had some questions, right, that you wanted to lead out with uh, Midnight? Actually, I don't have much of. All right, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I can walk this back. So you've 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 been in part of two commentary groups, right, John? Um, yes, I have, and uh, both of them have ended in the word team. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. So I've I've heard some complaints and concerns with the F team. What went wrong? If you feel anything went wrong, I'm willing to guess. I think what went wrong was um was the fact that you know. If anyone's ever heard of Illinois Guy 34, I believe it comes from, stems from the fact that he came into this group. And I think, like, I, I'm not going to say, like, that's exact directly the cause of the drama, but I believe that the timing was all too suspicious. I, I believe that, I kind of believe that, I kind of believe that Oni, oh, Oni is in this group, therefore we have to bash the F team. Well, it doesn't help if he's one of your founders, too. Oh, no, it, do it really doesn't. Wait. Illinois guy is Ernie or what? It's like he's he's one of the founders, but if you really want the one true leader of the F team, then uh, you're talking to him right now. Oh yeah, okay. that's solid. I just naturally assumed because you have that beautiful accent. What <laughs> what, what are your thoughts after um, working with uh, Illogical Reaper? Yeah, he was di he was difficult. I'll yeah. say that. Um, I understand. I will say, like, I will say, one of the um, one of the lousiest moments was um, was already covered by on the old CC channel. Mm -hmm. It's you know when he bas when Ernie basically basically filled him in on what happened and basically said, um, oh, the old made a new video and then a fucking reefer was like, no, 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 um, they're dead, they're dead. I don't care if they're making a new video every hour, they're dead. <laughs> I was sitting there, like, in disbelief. I was just like, what the fuck? 
But what, what does it take to get thrown out of the F team in that case? <laughs> um, I don't think it was really that was really the reason for him to be thrown out of the F team. Um, I think the reason why he was thrown out of the F team was mainly purely business reasons. For one thing, if you heard the really shitty sound quality from the streams, that was actually coming from him. Uh, oh yes, the echoes. That was a pain in the dick. Yeah. yeah, it was. So it was like you're kind of. It was more like you're kind of you're kind of degrading the qualities of the stream reaper. You're using your tablet, and it's coming out. It was coming out of his tablet speakers. So I think at one point we were just like, you know what? I think it's time we kicked him out. And I think the reason we let him in in the first place is because we were too nice. He, he's not... well, at least you took action faster than Fox did with friggin' Tom. So. Oh. Mm. Wait, is that a super funny man or whatever the hell's damn name? Super is? funny bros, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was really unfortunate. But didn't his family like wind up pinching all what was it like two k or some shit off of that? Yeah, they so, yeah they froze the funds um, because they didn't want that little shit to, using the money anymore. Jesus. Yeah. No. Moving right along. Uh, what, what's the uh, story of behind your avatar there? You mean uh, you mean Coco? I don't know what um, anime that's from or anything about it, so I figured I'd ask. Um, what's the story behind the Avatar? Um, I think the story behind the Avatar was, uh, it comes from the fact that, I think it came from, like, back in, like, 2012. The show she came from had recently started airing. I started watching it, and I kind of identified heavily with her, seeing as how she was, like, this really snarky bitch, and I loved it. So I thought, yeah, you know what, why not? I'll just use her as an Avatar. And... One thing I really tend, one thing I really tend to like now, when I use it, people ask me, "Are you transgender or something?" I find I find it funny that people are thrown off about it. To be honest, yeah, no. If you if you have any kind of character in drag these days, people just naturally assume. I had a uh, one post thrown to me by a bonus by like an artist, and I was like, "Oh, here, I'll use it." And they're like, "Oh, somebody's coming out," and I'm like, "No, not really, mate." What 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 uh, what made you change characters? You during your busting out video, you had the this character with pink hair in it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure really. I think um, it just came down to the fact that I just wanted to. Um, I just wanted a change in image, but I found, and then I think I found out quickly that the change in image wasn't really doing that good for me, so I reverted back to using my old avatar. Nice. Understandable. Listening to your old videos, and do forgive me for being frank here, what what were you using? It sounded like you were talking through a potato. <laughs> um, your microphone I was using, um, I was using the microphone in my, um, in my laptop at the time. What, what brand are you using now? I still use the same laptop. I've had this laptop for about five years. Oh, this is an inborn mic? That's actually pretty decent for, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. I've talked about that laptop. Um, the one I'm... The mic I'm using right now is um, is a, is a pro sound mic. Um, nice. Much better. How much did that run you? I got it for my birthday. Is it an XLR or USB or what? It's a USB. Okay. I was waiting for you to be like, I don't know. And I'm like, you, come on now, man. Work with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm no, just, it's fine. I'm a bit tired. So. <laughs> no, certainly. Understandable. Well, well, Dark Edge, seeing as how that you're fluent in current English politics and you'll have to fill in until Ninja gets here. What, what, <laughs> yes, I'm putting you on the spot. What are some daily concerns oh, okay. of the average British man that you feel that you feel that you ask this Cadillac among men, Jorm, here? I don't know. I don't know shit about British. What's the daily concern among the average British man? I don't know. This. I don't know, listen, listening to the constant feminist bullshit being sh spouted by the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> is it really a major concern, or is that more of an internet spin, just asking? I think it's, um, it's, it's a bit of both, if I'm honest. I mean, in the fact that, yeah, I do believe it's, um, I believe it's hyped up a little, a little bit much, but I also believe that it's also sending out the message that we shouldn't really say or do things that might potentially offend someone because of the virtue of the fact that, oh, well, that thing is racist, or, oh, that thing is sexist, or you can't, or maybe, for example, you know, you can't wear this, or you can't do that because, you know, it's it's culturally appropriating. It, it's, re it's restrictive, really. It's like saying, you can't do this, you can't do that, otherwise we'll label you with an ist. Okay. Do, do you see anything of that that might be in the commentary community that's... Uh, familiar. Plenty, actually. When it comes to the uh, when it comes to the commentary community, I've always found them to be 
almost everything they say that they're against. Like, you know, they say, some of them say, for example, you know, they're anti-feminist or they're anti-SGW. Yet, most of the actions that they uh, that they choose to pursue um, in regards to, like, say, you know, about, uh, with certain people mirrors that very much of SJWs. Like, for example, you know, when you act a bit snarky in a video, you say, oh, you can't do this or, you know, you can't say things like that otherwise you know it sounds mean a thing oh, that's really fucking stupid more overall it, it's like how, how do you feel that you've come along nicely between like from where you started to where you are now like where do you feel that you've done the most improvement i look back on uh, yeah i do i sometimes look back on my videos the first the videos that are now available from like 2012 and i feel that i've come a long way but at the same time i've always made it a goal to stay as true to myself as I pos as much as I possibly can and that's not really and that, that's not giving into peer pressure it's not giving into people who say that I should change because they don't like my attitude I think the most important thing in making content is being yourself you can take steps to improve yourself a little bit but don't really lose the core of who you are that's really yeah my message Mm -hmm. I, I, you, you won't get this one. What if the core of who you are is a ginger, for example? What do you think of those people? <laughs> I don't quite get that. I'm sorry. Oh, no, the, the gentleman who's late right now that I'm getting angry and angry at. Haven't, oh, there he is. There we he totally is. did not. Yeah, we totally were not about just like smack talking gingers right now. So moving right along. Tell, uh, give us five uh, reasons why the French suck now that we finally have the full British cast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we were going to talk about smack about gingers, so you know. Thinking about ginger, then I'm fucking more brown haired now, to be honest. Oh, uh, <laughs> he's evolved. And he's we gone... can talk. We can talk shit about brunettes as well. Okay. Uh, oh, this be good. Oh, what color hair is yours, John? Do you really have the Ric Flair colors? You know, the, the platinum no, blonde. There. <laughs> no, I've got brown hair as well. I can talk oh. shit about myself. But, all right. Yeah. What freaking Dark Edge before he came on was like, oh, I can't wait to ask him all about all these Doctor Who questions and how much dialogue <laughs> porn he has. Just so uh, many terabytes. Oh, you know, that was you, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I don't watch oh, Doctor Who, do you, Fal? Just, all right. I, I don't now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. It's a controversial thing that I don't now, but uh, considering a female Doctor. Well, yeah, that does raise a decent question. What do you think about that, Jorm? If you watch Doctor Who, that is. I, tend to, I watch Doctor Who on occasion. Not something I like watch on the regular. But I think my opinion on, on the female Doctor, I'm just trying to um, put it together. I think it could work, but it's more a matter. It's more of a matter of. Um, it's more of a matter of are they really doing this to fill a diversity quota? That's really the um, that's really the question that that's really the thing that people are concerned about. And then to an extent, it's something that I'm kind of concerned about as well. It's like are they doing this just for the sake of diversity, or do they want to do this because you know they want to try out something different? Right. It only took them 52 years to finally do something but, different. But they, but, well, sh but again, but again, I'm only I can only wait and see what happens if if it's as bad if it's as bad as people say then then it's bad so. okay share your thoughts on uh cnn the mainstream media um you you've talked about them doxing i know yeah. ninja here had some interesting input on that yes well the thing about well, the thing to know about cnn is that for the longest time they've always been one of the worst news networks in the US, at least from uh, an outsider's perspective. Especially when it was revealed by Project Veritas lately that uh, the whole Russia thing, you know, the whole Russian ties narrative was basically a nothing burger. It was a load of bullshit. This was admitted on camera by Van Jones, who is a who is one of the, you know, top brass at CNN. So when you look at somebody like that, and when you look at somebody like that, admitting that on camera, rather candidly, it calls into question, like, do you believe CNN and everything that they're pushing regarding the whole Russian collusion after an admission as brazen as that? Mm -hmm. That's true. Is anyone up to snuff on uh, the recent Trump news today? Or oh, the, the, the transgender trans. thing? Yes. Yeah. I've heard about it, and I think he, he fucked up by not being specific. 
I think if he was, because basically to, to boil it all down, he, he sent out a couple of tweets today saying transgender people will not serve in our military. And I think what he should have said is people who suffer from gender dysphoria shouldn't serve in our military. Yeah, because I think there's a difference. Yeah. Uh, transgender people, as in people who have actually trans, you know, they've went through the procedures and they've, you know, uh, they've changed their gender completely, different body parts, different whatever surgery they've been through, and they've completely gone through the whole process. Some of them consider themselves cleared and don't suffer the same mental stress that gender dysphoria puts on. The people who haven't done that, well, it's the same as many other mental conditions that stop you from joining the military. It can cause active mood swings, it can cause schizophrenia, violence and i think that if he was more specific he would have had much less of a backlash now whether or not i agree with what he said no not all i think transgender people should definitely be able to serve if they want to honestly i think he would have gotten backlash either way because you know it's trump and people hate trump for whatever reason he could he get hate oh. just for existing at this point oh yeah absolutely. Right. this I think... time i do think he deserves it though he fucked up yeah <laughs> i do i do i do also believe like I do also believe that he deserves him. Um, he deserves that kind of. He deserves a bit of blowback because the thing. Because the thing is, when you when you come out and you basically say a whole group of people, a whole demographic is not allowed to serve in the military because of not not a really well established reason, then yeah, you're gonna get people pissed off. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, what it, like it's it's almost like saying um, it's almost like saying you know um. It's almost like saying black people can't serve in the military. It's like you're leaving out a whole demographic of people just on a reason that's not really well founded. Yeah, it's like these people are still willing to risk their lives to protect people. Who gives a shit about their gender? Well, I do agree, but I do agree with um, I do agree with the person you just said uh, mm -hmm. that people with well, gen I, with people with uh, there gender are, dysphoria. Uh, there are should. many mental conditions that can stop you being in the military. Gender dysphoria. I I think that's what the point he was trying to get across, but he just fucked up so horribly and just said, "Hey, everyone who's transgender." Whether you still suffer from gender dysphoria or not, you all can't serve. Not in, and and just thing is, people with gender dysphoria, I think, could still find a way to serve the military, either from home or from like you know, you don't have to ship them off to Afghanistan to help the military or serve them. The fact that he said that there is no way these people can help or serve is really bad. It, like, and it kind of backfires on Trump mainly because. He, he will come out and say, ah, oh, the news is twisting what I say, but when what he says isn't specific enough to be interpreted any other way, then it's kind of hard to have a back. Because you know CNN is going to eat this shit up. You know for a fact that every news organization is going to be pinning him now because of this. Um, and, I'm, that's, I'm and, that's impl and that's implying that they weren't pinning him to be to begin with. Well, that's True, what, but that's what I'm yeah. waiting to see the counter spin. <laughs> you mean uh, how they're gonna say? I'm, I'm waiting and, for and I think the, the trouble. And I think the, the, the trouble is that um, for the longest time, I think that I've always been rather skeptical about what the mainstream media has said about Trump. But I believe uh, this time. Um, yeah, um, Trump really deserves a backlash about this. Uh, there's, there's an old saying that's basically saying a broken clock is twice is like right twice a day. Like even something that's completely and utterly garbage most of the time can still be insightful and smart once or twice. You know? Exactly. Yes. Yep. So no. it's it's don't be one-sided, people. <laughs> <laughs> no. As obvious as it sounds. So. Um... Yeah. Since we got done talking about American politics, does anyone have any thoughts on uh, Marisa Tomei's trying to, uh, I guess, be Teresa, more like you mean Marisa Marisa Tomei? Whatever, damn. How, what's her it's name? Beautiful. The, the English British. Teresa. Name? Teresa May. Teresa May. I don't Mary. know her fucking name. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have it written down here. That's like saying, oh, you know, Donaldo Trapanti. <laughs> yes. um, yeah, were, well, were you expecting me to be offended about that, Ninja? <laughs> I don't know. It's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but what? It, well, what? What's really the um? What's yeah, really the issue with this? Is kind of oh no! Oh, I was going to ask, what did you think of uh, her idea of trying to be more of a centralist and try and meet with some of Jeremy Corbyn's policies? As retarded as well, those are. I'll let the guests go first, but by all means, I think it. I think it's good. I think it's kind of good in principle that she wants to try and meet somewhere halfway with the opposition party. But if she's going to end up kowtowing to um, some of the principles that some of the uh, policies, sorry, that uh, Corbyn puts forward, then I do believe that it's fundamentally retarded. Um, mainly because 
Mainly because if you're going to go against things that you stand for just to appease one side, then really you have no you have no business being someone for the people. You know, to say. Yeah. Anyone else? Again, um, I, that's why I brought Ninja along, who's kept up on British politics, and he follows all the right channels on those things, and obviously he might have some questions for the guests that might be more prelevant. Ninja? Yeah. <laughs> Anything Ninja? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just got that. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, what was the question, sorry? Oh, do you have anything that about your country's politics since I... Um, British politics? Um, well, recently, May has shot herself in the foot with the whole friggin' election thing. Yeah, no, uh, She has no elaborate. real choice, really. The, the people are with Corbyn, you know, even though she won the majority, it was a pretty poor display of power, that's for sure. So, she, yeah, she's kind of had to... I feel like I'm commentating like a horse race or something. That's what politics feels like nowadays. Oh, here's an excellent play here. Oh, it was... It was hilarious to see her in the same room as someone in an Elmo costume and someone and with Lord a bucket Buckethead. on their head. Yeah, that's the real politics we should be talking about. We, How many yeah, do you know really of Buckethead. Lord Buckethead? No, go on. Okay, so I, I guess it's a British tradition that some fucker just joins the race in a completely stupid, retarded thing. And so standing next to the Prime Minister of England stood a man in an Elmo costume running for Prime Minister and a man called Lord Buckethead, who was like this intergalactic, intergalactic Darth Vader champion. He was mm. the best. I'd Lord love for him. I it. believe Lord Buckethead also ran against um, Margaret Thatcher if I, back in if the I, day. If I, if, I was able, if I was able to stay awake during the, um, during the election at the time, um, I probably would have voted for Elmo. <laughs> Chris, what, Chris what were you, like a uh, damn wrestler. I keep hearing that name up in the past. Does anyone have any thoughts on Margaret Thatcher then? Um, I can't really. I can't really say if I can't if I have any like proper thought. I, I can't really say if I have any proper thoughts on her. One thing I do. One thing I do know. She was one of the main people that was responsible for um, shutting down the uh, the coal mining industry back in like I can't, I can't really remember when it was. To be honest, she's she's a bit before my time, so I don't know if I'll be able to comment much. But um, yeah, she was basically a very controversial figure. She shut down the coal mines, stopped people from working in those kind of factories, basically and, turned Britain into a commercial, you know, place. And I do believe one of the things that um, one of the things that was notable about her, but this is this is uh, one thing I just remembered. She was one of the uh, she was one of the people that was trying to keep up the Berlin Wall. That's true. She was very conservative, like highly conservative. Like, oh, yes. There is a, the only reason the British people still use the pound today is because of Margaret Thatcher, who said no to the euro. Yeah, yeah. One thing that tends to that one thing that tends to really make me laugh, just going off, kind of going off topic, but it's still within like the same vein. I, I find it funny when like some of these um some of these fem some of these feminists are usually like not many like that not that many um. Prime ministers, uh, not that many prime ministers were women, and then somebody brings up Margaret Thatcher, and then they bring up about how conservative she is, which is funny, really. <laughs> well, funny. yeah, she's either... There were people who both celebrated her death and um, mourned her death. She was a very controversial like-slash-dislike figure. I was very apath I was very apathetic at the time, if I'm honest. Eh, the loss of life is a terrible thing. Yeah, the loss of life is a terrible thing, but it's like... I, I guess I was apathetic because I didn't really know enough about her at the time. Yeah. So, okay, um, anything anything else, um, FNGR? Um, are there any questions you feel like, uh, I don't know, let's see, uh, favorite shows, pastimes, things like that? Hopes okay. and dreams. Like any movies? Yeah. Um, favorite movies. Where, where do I begin? <laughs> <laughs> um, Monty Python? <laughs> not every... Uh... Not every, British person likes, <laughs> not every British person likes Monty Python, though to be fair, I do like Monty Python. Yeah, but 99.999%, sure, but... Yeah. Um, sure, <laughs> but I think if I'm going to have to pick a favourite movie, one of my favourite movies of all time, um, I think that title goes to Back to the Future. What, what do you think um, of the uh, using uh, time travel as a... You know, a, a plot device. You feel it's messy, or it's something you find interesting. In yeah, life. one of the re main reasons I liked it is because personally, I always found it. I always found the movie to be really funny, really creative, and mainly Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he's still kicking. Like, fair play to him. Yeah, no, he seems like yeah. he's doing fine. It's but also surprising how much they got right. Still, uh, Michael J. Fox, um, poor guy. What uh, what sports? What sports are you into, John? 
I've never been one for like sports like football and things like that. I've never really been for one for things like baseball. I've always been I've always been more of a motorsports kind of person. Oh, if I would have known that, I could have brought on the right people for that. Um, is there a car that you wanna you have to own before you die? Is there a car that I have to own? Before yeah, I some die? kind of um, sports model that you're saving up for. On your what are you gonna to- spend your midlife crisis on? Yeah. Um, if I'm gonna have to be, if I'm gonna have to be really, really, really particular, um, if I want, if I want to spend my midlife crisis on anything, it'd have to be a Honda NSX. Like, it's hmm. just, just like not, not, not even a new one. I would just like to get a plain Honda NSX. Well, that's the first enough, I've ever heard. But... As I was downstairs, you know, grabbing some food real quick while you guys were talking about politics. I um, overheard on the news that they're going to ban petrol and diesel cars by 2040. Oh, well, that's a good ways off, though, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose, but it seems... Yeah, I know it's a good ways off, but damn, it's such a... Probably a thing. better energy it's source for them. It's a, bit, it's, a bit, it's a bit much, seeing as how they'll at least need to try and come up with and test an alternative energy source before they even try to consider something. Electricity so isn't that far yet. It can't run on electricity. It has to be, it will have to be something like hydrogen. I'm guessing they're specifically banning them on the roads. I there are a lot of collectors so. who collect, just collect oh, cars. Yeah. I, think yeah, ban, I think banning them outright, uh, I think banning them outright would just honestly be kind of a ludicrous idea. Yeah, would be. Well, let's see how it goes. See you in 20 years, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I've seen about, like, yeah. I don't know, seen about 23 years. See how it goes. Mm-hmm. I guess, uh, because we were talking about trans re- earlier, what are your thoughts on the recent incident at CoxCon involving our traps gay? If you've heard of it, that is. That's a fun oh. joke. He's oh. referring to the cynical Brit, a.k.a. Uh, Total Biscuit. John Bain. Uh, Total Biscuit. Yes. Not cynical, Brett. Oh, I know. Yeah, hang on. Sorry. Yeah, never mind. I thought Coxcom was Jesse Cox. Yeah, Jesse. It's Jesse yeah, Cox. Cox trans, yeah. Was cynical, Brett also there? Oh, okay. He's uh, associated with Jesse Cox. So I of. think like oh, um, our traps, our traps, gay. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I guess um, the <laughs> I guess um, it's uh, like um, that sounds like a joke. It, it, like, it kind of is. Like, how, yeah. how, kind of how, is. Can, mm. how the hell can you actually ask that with, in such a ser- in a serious oh, context? Oh, oh I'll have you know, I saw the like, I saw the footage how? of that. He was he's like, I want an answer. <laughs> and they threw him out. <laughs> but like that wasn't <laughs> the question, traps. like the our traps gay question. I was asking like your opinion on Total Biscuit's attitude after the event because yeah. he was oh. like Spurgeon on Twitter. Was he? Oh, um, uh, I think it's I, I think it's kind of dumb. Okay. It's just like just like you know. I'm just, you know, John, just forget about it. Move, move on. It was stupid. I had a convention. Yeah. Uh, something Probably not going to help sales next year. Uh, is Traps Gay, I think, is just a funny junk meme. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, and, it's, and, it's literally something on the... Uh, it's, it's something that's on knowyourmeme.com. Yeah. 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 Like, Donald Trump saying no to transgender people, that's something to be angry about. That is an official leader of power saying this is not okay. That is something... But a meme... Yeah. Why though? Why why bother getting angry about it when you have other more important things to be well, angry about? To be fair though, Total Biscuit is the same guy who bitched at his wife because she didn't vote the same way as him. So yeah, it's like it's like um, yeah, and you agree. You know, Donald Trump saying that um, uh, trans people shouldn't be in the military um, really is something that's warranting of a backlash. But like, is it like? I'd say to Total Biscuit, is it really worth getting angry over some shitlord asking, are, tra- are traps gay? I mean, like, Maybe if you, you really think, think an about it, is that really, if you really think about it, is that really a serious question? Maybe his answer was no, and he likes traps, and that's why he kicked him out, because he didn't want any, everyone to he know. He didn't want anyone to know. <laughs> he likes some conflicting things. On he traps, gay? Really he get out of my event. He couldn't talk about it without, you know, <laughs> having, <laughs> having a reaction, if you know what I mean. <laughs> he sent him like, like a Morse code signal or smoke signal saying it's yes or no. It's like um, somebody just raises somebody just raised their hand, just be like, Are traps gay? And then somebody just like trans folk get out. <laughs> <laughs> well I so you think that's a good place that we should call it a wrap then? All right. Yeah. All right. I well, thank you for coming on. If I ever have somebody that you're interested in as a host. I'd love that's to have you back, John. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Sorry for being late, by the way. So no no, it's fine. Uh, okay. Stop.